a simple idea has turned out to be a million dollar venture for a former university professor. A million dollars is exactly how much the National Science Foundation is investing in Chusito.com, which is quickly changing everything that we know about finding facts at any age. Students at the Baldwin School for Girls are used to learning new things, so a cutting-edge tool called Chuzito was right up their alley. So usually we use another database, like we used Britannica, and um, that's good, but I think this one's better. Eleni Milzikaki left her job as a university professor to enter the male-dominated field of tech startups, and what she developed is now being used by 40,000 students around the world. I could see that that, that, that we needed technical solution for how to curate the web, how to make the web a place for learning, not only for doing shopping. Chuzito.com is a search engine that narrows down results so students at almost any grade and any reading level will only see websites tailored for them. What it does is filter everything on the web, and when I say everything, I mean all one point something trillion sites on the web. For instance, if you Google water cycle, more than 26 million results pop up, mostly from government agencies. But if you search for it on Chuzito, for first to third graders, only age-appropriate educational websites are shown. It's easier and it's faster. You get your search results faster. I just cannot wait to see it in every classroom. If the enthusiasm brimming from these girls is a sign of things to come, Eleni may very well get her wish. Eleni says more than 200 thousand students are projected to be using Chuzito by the end of the year. What a great idea. Incredible? It is amazing the things you can do with technology these days, in particular with internet programs and even apps. Yeah, you can basically plan an entire evening out by just using apps. Joining us now with a little more insight into some of these apps is WVOC's Director of Digital Media, Ethan Holland. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Great to be here. Okay, so there are a lot of good <coughs> restaurants here on Delmarva and a lot of them are opening up for the season you can actually um, go to Yelp and it's an app for finding a good restaurant and finding mm -hmm. out whether it's one for you yes well Yelp is a great app I'll bring it up on the screen here mm -hmm. it serves two purposes I think as a local it's a great way to um, shout out your favorite restaurants and mm -hmm. share them with other people who are coming in right um, it's also a way to discover um, restaurants if you're if you're from Ocean City you may not get up to Dover too much to go out to dinner or you may not be in um, you know, Salisbury as often as, as other folks, and this is a great way to discover. So here's a good example of where you just, you bring it up and you can say, uh, what's, where are some restaurants nearby? And here we are, and it's it's all sortable by popularity, by price. Oh, okay. Um, likewise, if you're ever going on a road trip, you want to find Thai food in Washington, D.C., you just type in whatever you need and it, right. it brings it up. Just Very a convenient. Quick method of explanation. You're doing it there. We're seeing it there. Yes, yeah, I have okay. it on my phone, and we've got it on our yeah, sure Apple okay, TV. Okay, so we, we find the place that we want to eat. We we want to make reservations. Yes. And this is where Open Table comes in handy. That's correct. So let's say, you know, um, well, there's two ways to look at this. This way is for really for exploring. That's how I would put it. So okay. let's say you're driving down Route 50. You don't know that there's a new restaurant in Willard's that's getting great reviews. Right. This pulls that out so you can see it without a road sign. You know, it's, it's a great way to discover new places. Open table, the way I look at that is, let's say it's the middle of the summer, you've got friends over, you've got a party of eight. So what do you do on a Friday night? You get on the phone and you have to make 25 phone calls trying to get in at any, you know, whatever time is left right. for a party of eight. So in this case, maybe you're not sure where you wanna go, but you know you have a big party and you need to get in and it's difficult. Here's a good example where I brought up the Open Table app. This has it set for a table of two tonight at 7 p.m. I'll just switch it for fun to a table of, of eight tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here it is. I can go to wow. Evo, Sobos. This is all sorted by distance. Yeah. And um, it's a great way to know, okay, well, there's plenty of options, but the Market Street Inn is not available till eight. So if I want to grab that, I can grab it now. I reserve my table right here on my phone. No phone calls, pretty easy. Yeah, it's pretty, I've used that one before. That is very convenient. Okay, so you've got the restaurant taken care of. Now the parking, and that's where Park Mobile comes in. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so Park Mobile is relatively new to this area. It's a lot of fun for, you know, my worst, the thing I do not like the most about parking in the beach right. is going back and feeding the, meter. Yeah. feeding the meter. So you don't know how long you're gonna be out. You either put too much in or you're constantly checking your watch. With this app, you can, it's hard to demonstrate on the TV because you right. need to be there physically. 
but you can scan a little code on the parking meter. It brings it up. It has your car entered into the system. It has your credit card in. You can just put money in the meter and it'll actually notify you when you're running late uh, or if it's about to expire. You can just hit a button and it reloads some more money in the meter for you. It's all right there in your hand. All right there. Man. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to pull something off here. Don't tell anybody we did this, okay? You, you've got a new app that you're working on for WBOC. That is correct. And you're going to give us a... <laughs> you're going to give us a sneak peek. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not a very good poker player, and I can I can never. I proposed to my wife. I got the ring, and I couldn't wait like three days. You know, so I, I am not very good at keeping things a secret. And this is something we're doing internally. That's a lot of fun. It's not out for the public yet, okay. but I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. This is the WBOC News app. This is an on-demand headlines app, where if I want to know what the news is right now, when I wake up, when I'm in my car, at any time. I can pull up this app, right. and uh, for example, I can just hit the little play button, and let's see what happens. Good morning, I'm Maxine Bensel with your WBOC News. The results are in this morning after campaign. Right I like that, News right there. On Demand. There WBOC News That's On Demand. That's correct. And then if I want to see what the weather is, I just switch over to the weather. Make your WBOC weather forecast. I'm meteorologist Brian Keene. Like Welcome it. And so there's really no waiting anymore. Right here, when you want it, where you are, you've got it. Ah, wow, now that's not out cool. for the public yet. You got it is peek. not. Okay. We hope okay. to have it out in about a month. All right, Ethan, as always, our resident app expert. Our resident app guy. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So much. Absolutely I can't wait for that incredible. news one to come out. Yeah, no kidding.